One of the things we're quite proud of with Last Man Stands is that it's very accessible. So if you want to enter, you don't have to have your own club. You might only have six players, but if you want to get up to eight players, you just go onto the Last Man Stands website, you register your team or you phone the local area manager and you pass on your details and we place you in a league of suitable strength. As a youngster I played, but then there's been a certain hiatus. Uh, probably stopped for about 14 years or so, I would say, from school until we, I started again playing last month's stands. The only reason I stopped playing was when I had kids, and if you play cricket, even a 20 over game, it's virtually the whole day, and that's why I had to stop. So uh, I've always sort of hankered after playing. It takes two hours, it's quick and it's fun. To play all day Saturday afternoon, the long format really was not suitable. It's a short form of the cricket, because I can play after work rather than taking into work time, or I've got young twins so it doesn't eat into my family time too much. We provide everything from the umpires, the balls, the stumps are in the ground when you arrive, the boundary marks are up, so you don't have to do anything, it's just a matter of turning up and playing your game. You get to meet people from other firms, and just in general, people have a good time. So this is the one tournament we're pretty much committed to every year. A lot of um, players that play club cricket have joined, and also a lot of social cricketers have joined that play pubs level. So it's really brought in mixed abilities, but everybody's had good fun. It's not that lengthy game. People don't have to stay for long. They don't have to leave uh, most of their work and come around. They can they can have good game in short time. Every team pays a registration fee at the start of the season, and they get uh, coloured clothing that goes with it, uh, with numbers on the back. The main rules is, of course is it's eight a side. Each bowler is still only bowl four overs, but because there's five bowlers and a wicket keeper, that's a higher percentage of the guys getting to bowl. We've got five ball overs, which helps speed up the game. If you bowl a wide or no ball, it's still one run plus an extra ball. You get three runs for your second wide and an extra ball for your first. When you get to 50, you have to retire. So as opposed to having your two openers batting the whole innings out and the other guys not getting a chance to bat. Things like the double play keeps everything active right till the very end. If a batsman hits it in the air and is caught, then the batsman who didn't hit the ball needs to get back to the non-striker's end, whereas natural instinct always takes you to the other end because you're crossing. Somebody got ran out because of me, because I didn't know the rule. <laughs> so all in all, I probably would have been better off without me. <laughs> I did my best. When the last wicket falls, which in our concept is the seventh wicket, the last man stands on his own. He doesn't have a runner, but he can only hit a two, four, or six. He can only be run out at the keeper's end. So he doesn't have to run, but if he gets three quarters of the way down the wicket and he realizes he's not going to make it, he can turn around and go back. So the value of that rule is if you're the number eight batsman and you've just got in and the number six gets out and you've paid your match fees to get a game of cricket, you don't have to walk out with him. You control of your own destiny so you can keep on going. We're always trying to source new grounds, grow the leagues, which is obviously what we're trying to do. It's very important. Pleasing to see how many teams are phoning us and emailing us to play in a league. But on the other hand, each season we're turning away at least 40, 50 teams at a venue like this at Regent's Park. If we had three, four, five more fields a night, we'd fill them up. So yeah, that is an issue, but hopefully with working with the ECB, we might be able to work around that and get local authorities to get behind the concept. They are well organized, they were providing equipment, they were providing us facilities, which usually we lack in, in like organized events mostly. It's very well organized. The organizers are very nice guys. And you know, you get umpiring, you get statistics. They've seen how the stats get uploaded on internet and they can see how they are doing. Every cricketer loves stats. Not everyone will admit it, but everyone likes to compare themselves to their mates or opposition's teams. So we came up with a ranking system where every player was given a league ranking, a city ranking, 
and then as we expanded to other countries, players got world rankings. You get people texting you and telling you what your average is, and you can always see where you're standing with everybody else in your league and internationally and nationally. So you know that, for instance, I've gone up to 200 in the world and 50 odd in the country. So it is great fun to see where you stand against other players, to be honest. That's, it's, it's brilliant. So you might have a player who's ranked number five in the world, and you could have a batsman who's ranked 10,000 in the same team which is great, especially for the corporates for Office Banter. I'm averaging about 80, I think, which is a bit of a miracle. I thought uh, cricket hasn't been touched in terms of fundraising. There is not, nothing happening around this area. So I decided to go and explore that side of it. I took this idea to English Cricket Board. They really encouraged me to kind of take it further. And they put me in touch with Last Man Stands. And here we are kind of doing it in a big way. And it is almost unimaginable. The best team from every league in England goes through to the England Champions League. And this year there's about 35 leagues. It'll culminate to the top two teams playing in Lord's finals. Though. The big prize is to go to Lord's, play on the nursery ground. And if you win there, you go to Australia.